Hi everyone! Today we're going to be working on this super simple blood splatter design for Halloween. Um, you only need a couple of items. You only need a white nail polish. Any white will do. A bright red nail polish. Some scotch tape. Um, a drinking straw. Clean. And some paper towels. So the first thing that we're going to do is just paint our base color which is the white. So I'm going to paint my nail white. This is Wet n Wild and it is French white cream. It's uh, pretty opaque but it still does need um, two coats to get rid of some of that streakiness. So I'm just going to layer this one coat and then we'll come back for a second one. Okay, so now I've put two coats on my nail. It's completely opaque and dry. Now for the next step. This um, blood splatter gets pretty messy, so I highly recommend that you do it on a, you know, don't do it on the carpet or anything like that. Make sure you lay some paper towels down or, um, you know, an old bath towel that you don't mind getting uh, polish on because this is going to get a little bit messy. And that's what the scotch tape is for because it's going to get messy on your fingers too. So you're going to want to tape around the nail. This is the same procedure that you would do if you're going to do water modeling. So you're just going to butt it up against your top cuticle and then we're going to do the two sides. And this is just going to help with cleanup. Um, you also want to work uh, one nail at a time. Okay, so the nail is, I know it's a little bit difficult to see the tape, but so my nail is completely, the surrounding areas is covered. And this is going to protect your finger so you don't have to clean up the big mess. Now comes the fun part. You can take a, uh, just a plain sheet of paper like I have here, um, scrap paper, or you could use a little pa pla um, paper plate. And we're just going to put some nail polish down. Not a huge amount, but a little bit to give yourself a little blob. move the camera so you can get a good angle for this. Now you're going to take the um, straw let me pull back a little bit here and you're going to dip it into the the nail polish just like this and then you're going to place it just above the nail and you're going to blow on the clean end and you're going to give like a hard a uh, gust. So you're just going to take a deep breath and <gasps> and right through. So oh, cat hair, lovely. So let me zoom on this so you could see. And we'll try and get a good clean shot of it. All right, so I'm going to dip it once more and then I'm going to blow. Did you see the hat? Very very easy. Um, the closer you go, the more condensed the colors are going to be, and the further back you go, the more finer spray you're going to get. So, this has actually covered a good portion of the nail, but I'm going to do a little bit more. Just to get a few more little sprays in there. And you could do as much or as little as you want. So now let me show you in the camera here. You see why it's so important to have the um, the tape because it's like all over the place. And you can see below, big old mess. 
but it does give a really cool effect as you can see let me pull back a little bit here so you can see all the other ones I'm having a hard time with the angle today forgive me of course I'll take pictures at the end so you guys can get a really good clear image but that's the look really super simple the great thing about this technique is that you can use all different colors and you can get you know do like a neon splatter everything you don't have to do just the red uh, you know for a bud splatter for Halloween this is just a really cool um, cool look for Halloween so I'm going to slowly remove the tape tiny spot sticking up there. And there you go. So that's the full look right there. So once the everything is dry then you can place your top coat and you're pretty much done.